never bear In the morning when I wake up I will sing a praise unto you my Lord I will sing, I will shout for you You have been my head forever ever Hey, 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 my God is good, oh. Hey, 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 my God is good, oh. 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 Hey, 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 Oh, <laughs> 
said this afternoon, this morning. You are a man. You are a master. You are the master. Yes, do it again. You are a master.
Wherever you are is where he is. Wherever you are, are too low, too low, too low. Whatever, whatever you are, you are seated, or wherever you are, whether you are in radio lane, you are listening, you are viewing, whatever you are doing, I want you to know that wherever you are is where he is. He is to where you are. Yeah. Don't look for him somewhere else. But wherever you are is where God wants to be this morning. Yes. 
they are aiming if it is better you are the one I am talking to whatever you are is where God wants to be and I can say this to you before I put you ahead let me say something to the first 10 person ladies and gentlemen what I want to say to you in other words not to confuse you but to let you know that wherever you are if you are not tired of being where you are then you must understand where you are is tired of you in other words if you are not tired of where you are where you are is tired of you so today either where you are leave you or you leave what you are so i believe that by the power of god yes, there are people that are going to leave where they are this morning yes, if that your amen as well you are the one i can preach it to you amen. there are people who are going to leave where they are this morning i don't like the way you are saying that's your amen Say them, say, I hear you, sir. I want to read something quickly to you. Genesis 37. Oh, God. <laughs> Genesis 37. I want us to look at my father, my father. Thank you, Lord. 15. No time to waste. Genesis chapter 37, verse 15. Verse 15. Yeah. And a certain man for him. And behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, Why seekest thou? 16. And he said, I seek my brethren. Tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. 17. And the man said, They are departed hence. For I heard them say, Let us go. To that time. And Joseph went after his brethren and found them in that time. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slit him. Verse 19. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Verse 20. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him. Come now, therefore, let us slay him. And cast him into some pit. Hey. And we will say, Some evil beast had devoured him. And we shall see what will become of his dream. Verse 21. And Reuben heard it. And he delivered him out of their hands. And said, Let us kill him. Verse 22. And Reuben said unto them, Shield no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hands upon him that he may rate him out of their hands to deliver him to his father again. Verse 23. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brethren, they, they stripped Joseph out of his coat. His coat of many colors that were on him. 24. And they took him and cast him into the pit. And the pit was empty. There was water. There was no water in it. Verse 25. And they sat down to eat bread. And they lifted up their eyes and looked. And behold, a company of Ishmaelites came unto Gilead, which with the camel bearing spicery. And bind a mat, going to carry it down to Egypt. 26. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Verse 27. 26. 26. Yeah. And Judah said unto his brethren, yeah. What profit it if we slay our brethren uh -huh. and conceal his blood? Okay, right there. Now, what we read. I really need your attention because I want to say a few things and I pray. And I also want you to know that this section is for a particular person. And that's what I say, where, wherever you are, it's where God wants to be this morning. Now, this is a very beautiful story in the Bible. A legacy of a man 
who broke a record of an evil family by the name of Joseph. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says Joseph was one of the favorite child of his father. He said the father loved him the more because the father got him in an old age. And the father makes him a clothes of many color. And then the Bible says because of what the father have done to him, he said it brought envy in the heart of his brother. The father in the, in the contest there is it represents God. There are where God will decorate your life. Amen. You're not understanding what I'm trying to say. In fact, what God will do in our lives, ladies and gentlemen, there are things God is about to do, and there are things God will do that will be a shock to people that are around you. One. There are things God will do for you and I after the service by the power of God. For no reason, you will ask why people are hating you. Because God said to me, He's about to bless you for us. Sir. If that's your amen, is the loudest. If you are streaming out of your belly, then I am talking to you today. Hey. You say amen, you take the Father blessing today. Hey. You say amen, you take the Father blessing today. Hey. The father loves him, and the father makes him a clothes of many color. And then the Bible says the brethren saw it, and they got irritated, they got angry. And then suddenly they want to make the anger go where so one day Jacob wake up from I mean Joseph wake up from his sleep. He said in dream. He said he had a dream that he sees the entire family bowing down to him, worshiping him. He was in the middle and he was surrounding him, but they all were bowing down. He was standing. Yes. And then the Bible says, the people said, what kind of, which, which kind of dream is this? We are bowing and you are standing. When he said it, they got angry with him. They went on the other side and they discussed and they have conspiracy. The Bible says that they are conspiracy against God eh? in other words to stop his dream. Now watch this. The following day, he went back again. The same thing came back to him. He didn't keep it. He went and shared it with his brethren. Ladies and gentlemen, the brethren again got irritated. What kind of dream? We ain't got problem with your dream, but why are we buying and you are standing in the dream? So as I started the Bible, I get to discover their problem was they were buying and Joseph was standing on. Ladies and gentlemen, in this world that full of hardship, in this world that full of difficulties, in this world that full of economic crisis, in this world where people are facing tension, why others are buying down? Let me say this to you. You and your children, your family, you all will be misstanding. No power shall pull your down. Hey, if you catch your way, you shall a better aim. Hey, I said, if you catch your way, you shall be aim. They were buying down. And the man was standing. Amen. All the people that fell in your family, in your neighborhood, in your community, all those that have fallen. I want to make a pronouncement as you enter in another month by the grace of God upon your head, upon your destiny, and upon your career. You will not fail in anything you do. You will not fall in anything you do. If you say amen, that's why the shaking you are standing. I said that's why the shaking you are standing. Salah. I am standing. I am standing. Sit down for me. No time. I like what David said. David said, God, he said, take my hands and carry me to the rock that is higher than me. Solomon said, Lord, make me wiser than my enemies. Take me to the rock that is higher than me. David said, Solomon said, Lord, make me wiser than my enemy. The dreamer. In the family, what is a dream? 
A dream is a picture that tells you the future. A dream is a picture that tells you what you are not today, what you will become tomorrow. It comes in a picture. Amen. One of the things that secure any human being is a dream. What is dream? Dream is an alignment with a prophecy. When you have a prophecy, it gives you hope for living. When you have a dream, it gives you hope for living. In our days, dreams are not value. But in the days of all, people know the power of the dream. When you have the dream, either you are dead or you are alive or you are going to be better or not. So Joseph had the dream of ensuring and God showing the picture that this is the kind of person he was going to be. When Joseph had the dream, he said it to his brethren, ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you something here? It's shocking to be aware that people, the Bible says, if you read verse 15, to the same 15, he said he went to find after his brethren, so concerned about them. He went to find out for his brethren. He went to look for them. The men of all, we are not good, I know, are going away from family. We like to die for them. We like to be everywhere they are. We get ourselves, it is frustrating that the people you are killing yourself for, that they won't kill you. You not understand what I'm trying to say. It is so frustrating that people that you can lay down for, you can sleep for, you can rest for, they are the one the cause that your life is talking about. But today, just one day, it's coming for them. And not let that you respond at all. I say, and not let that you respond. Shout the Lord. his family he went looking for his brothers he went looking for his family members even though they were brothers same father different mother but the bible said on their way i mean on his way looking for his brothers his brethren has already listen gentlemen it is terrible that people who you are also in for have a different mindset about you or a different mindset for you in other words people you are loving you are loving you have taken your whole heart and give it to them you see you you, 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 you you live a restless life only because you want to see them happy you do all kinds of things only because you want to see them smiling you get involved into all manners of business only because you want to see their tooth or sir. but they are the one i want to bring you down they are the one that want to destroy you they are the one i want to kill you but I'm here to make a pronouncement. Not just to everybody, but to free person. The people in your family. The people that the enemy has planted as an agent. To bring you down, to destroy you, to scatter you. Today, instead of you dying, they will die because of you. I don't like that to amen. They will die because of you. You say amen to Father now. Hallelujah. Freedom from evil hands and from prison. Amen. Freedom from where? And for what? Freedom from evil hands and from prison. The greatest anticipation of any man in life is to be free. Ladies and gentlemen, as told in the Bible, I've got to know that Joseph had a dream. And then what I understood here was he told the dream to his brothers and he told the dreams to his family. And after they had received the dream, the next thing they did, they sat among themselves. Oh my dear body, if this dream come to pass. Oh my dear body, if this dream come to manifestations. After he had a dream, a plan, he saw a picture of his future. He knew that God had destined him to become a great property in life. Joseph knew that this part, the family he was Found he was born to be great. Joseph knew desperate the calamity or desperate the size of his destiny. He couldn't allow the size of his family to determine the outcome of his future. He believed that no matter what the situation is, he had to dream. He may not have a word of property value from his father, he may not have a blessing from his father, but he had a dream. What is a dream? A picture of what you're going to become in the next two years, in the next three years, in the next 40 years. Ladies and gentlemen there are many men here many women here they have 
seen their picture. They have understand that this is what they want to become. They have set their plan, their calendar, and their event. Some say at the age of 12, I will be out of high school. At the age of 24, I will be out of college. At the age of 30, I will be married. But everything you plan, the enemy got involved and they scattered your plan. There are many of us frustrated under my voice because all that we anticipated, it was hijacked by the enemy. Some of us were hijacked by the way. The plans that we have for destiny, it did not come to manifestation. But I'm here to make a pronouncement. Once your God is alive, let your dream remain inside of you. Your dream will not die. Your dream will not die. Your dream will not die. Say amen, something will happen to you today. Hey! My, my God, my God, my God. The Bible says, the young man said to himself, he said, are we going to sit down here and see this dreamer bring his dream into reality? Ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that was to evilize their hands. It is an error to fall in an evil family. A family that is full of evil. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a trouble to fall in an evil hands. All everybody experience in a family is evil. If you don't have a problem with your marriage, you have a problem with your relationship, or a job, or something you might have a problem with. If you fall in that category of family, your life is in trouble. There are families who don't like progression. Once they don't progress, they won't allow their brother or their sisters or their parents or somebody among them to progress. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the frustrating news for your family and the enemies there. Those that are planted in your family, if nobody can go up or nobody can rise, I'm here to tell you you are under this grace. You shall rise double, triple time in life. Hey! You say amen, you will go to the higher heights. Hey! Don't let that to amen at all. Hey! Shalom. God, my God, my God, my God. Do you know what I said? Let's stop his dream. Ladies and gentlemen, let's stop his dream. Somebody must say, why am I going through all this? I got money, I got job, I'm not married. What they can leave me? No. They are not after you, your money, your car, and your job. They are after your 10 years from now. Because the devil know where you are is not where you will remain. The devil know that there's somewhere better you are on your way to. The devil knows something better will come from out of you. He's not fretting your today, he's fretting your tomorrow. All the affliction, all the pains, all the sickness, all the accident, a want of a brought your tomorrow. All the things you are facing with today is because of your tomorrow. But can I say this to you? If you could not stop Asia from entering the promised land, they will not stop you from entering your tomorrow. You say, hey, Amen, your dream will not be your boy. Shut up, yeah, you saw. Why, yeah, you saw. Be fast to hear me. Most of the things we go through today in life, I can tell you for free. Most of the challenges we face today in life, and you are screaming. You say, What do I have? Yes, so you have something. There is something that you have that you don't know, but the enemy know. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I said, Hallelujah. Many years ago, I, I was reading the part of the Bible, and I began to think back, and I, had a, I remember something. I, I think I was around 10 or 11 years old. I remember I got very sick. My mother wanted to farm me. She wanted to farm medicine in, in, in the village. When she wanted to farm medicine, she came back, I was almost dead. And she began to cry. I was like, Gory! Oh, oh, don't do this thing to me, my man. Don't do that. Your father left. She began to cry. I was sick. I, I, did I almost? Mom, I think I died. I can't tell you I almost died. I died. And I was lying on the bed. And she was looking at me. She said, your father left you all with me. And I brought you this fire. You come and die in my hand? And I, I was going on my vessel. And I was looking at her. 
Or I could say in my spirit world, Mom, I'm sorry. I was, I, I got, I, oh God, only God in heaven know. That was many years ago. Why? The devil was stopping today. That thing that came my way yesterday, it was because the devil never wanted me to enter in today. If that's your amen, will be quite correct. Yes, sir. If your amen will be what? Sound. You will enter your career. Yes, sir. You will enter your future. Yes, you will enter your destiny. Yes, you will enter your family. Yes, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, wherever you are hearing me from. Yes, wherever the devil don't want you to go. Yes, you will enter there. Yes, you will enter there. Yes, you will enter there. I'm not talking to somebody here. I'm not preaching to somebody here. Yes, sir. Hmm. Let, let's see. They say, let us not stop the pressing. Let's stop the dream. So to get the to get the dream, let get the pressing. When we get the pressing, listen. I don't care how much you are born again, how much you know Jesus, and you are a Christian. Except you are a Christian without a purpose. Satan won't bother you. But once you have a purpose, the mistake many people are making is this. Christianity is different from your purpose. What is your purpose? What you come to do here? Read Luke chapter 4. Read verse 18. He said, the Spirit of the Lord has upon me. He has anointed me to preach. So you must find what you are here for. Are you number three in the family? No, you didn't just come to be number four. I'm the third, I'm the fourth, I'm the fifth, I'm the five, I ain't. What am I here for? So, number one, you could get born again. Number two, you have another fight. After being born, that's why people say, oh, you know, you believe in Jesus? Yeah, believe in Jesus will be called, even Jesus will fought this fight. And he said to you and now, once you are on the earth, and you are human in the flesh, he said, as they hate me, they will hate you. What is hatred? Hatred is not far from death. When somebody hates you, they won't kill you. When somebody hates you, they won't destroy you. What is hatred? Any good thing attracts hatred. What kind of people are here? Once you are productive, you will attract haters. Once you are productive, you will attract haters. Yes, sir. Once you are doing all that have not done in your community, in your family, among your friends, you will attract haters. Yes, sir. If you say amen, anyone that hates you, they will die because of you. Hey! Shut up, yeah! Amen. So you must have that one at the back of your mind that this part you are born again. If you have a purpose, you have a battle. Once you have a purpose, you have a battle too. If you have a destiny, that is to say, what you are destined for. Jeremiah chapter one in verse four. He said, then the, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah in verse five. Say, before you were born, I knew you. I redeem you as a prophet. As a prophet. That is the area the enemy wants to attack. I redeem you as a belonger. I redeem you as a married woman and a married man. I redeem you as a long stay person. I redeem you as an owner of a company. I redeem you as a progressive person on the earth. That ordination you receive is what equal to your battle because the devil knows that God has ordained you to be so he will fight you. So once you have a future, you must only go a fight. What is the future? What is the future? A future is something in two years from now, three years from now, four years from now. And the enemy know that you're almost two years to your final destination. Some of you are three years, some of you are ten years, four years. So some of you are even in your final year. Wait, wait, wait. If you left, let's wait still. You have the opportunity to travel today. I mean, next year, I mean, December. And then the devil know that no one has ever break that rank in your family. No one ever break that mark in your family, in, in, in your community, in your life. What you is start experiencing. For each time you, you, you're about to get to another dimension of God, blessings, about to increase. I, I, I wonder people will be complaining. Ooh, what am I going through? What am I? What you are going through determine where you are going to. <laughs> it is because of where you are going to 
That is the reason why you are going through what you are going through. Going through is something. It's because of where you are going to. Where you are going to, ladies and gentlemen. Then he said, "Yet though I walk through the valley in the shadows of death, where was he going to?" He said, "The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want." He made me to lie in green pasture. What is green pasture? You are getting to a place of fruitfulness. He said, "But to get there, you have to pass through valleys. You have to pass through." But he said, You shall not die. So, that trouble that you are in, the enemy will try, but they can't kill you. They will attempt, but they can't kill you. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. Yes, God is the one that lifts you up. No man will bring you down. Yes, God is the one that promoted you. No man can demote you. He's on your side. He's all around you. Lift on your voice. Shout fire. Shout fire. Hallelujah! Can I tell you something? There is a song that says, Lord, do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. life. Today. Why? I will tell you. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Why do I need something new? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a new mountain to climb. I have a new valley to cross. I have a new battle to fight. A new fresh fire today. There are enemies waiting for you outside there. There are challenges waiting for you outside there. There are battles waiting for you outside there. Lift up your hands, say, My father. My father. Give me fresh fire. Give me fresh fire. I feel the power of God here. Say that. Say I hear you small, small. I hear you small, small. Shout out your Bahayaka. Hey, I had a dream. I had a dream. In the next five years, I won't be like this. Kabala Bonsa. I had the dreams. I have dreams upon dreams that in the next three years I won't be like this. I won't be looking like this. I have the dream that this my continents, my ships, my form, my startup, my repetition, it will change. Oh God, who am I preaching to here? I had the dream that despite the characteristics of my family and the limitation of my destiny, I won't be like this. I had to dream. I had the dream that no matter what the enemy says, I will enter my future. I had the dream no matter what the enemy wants to do to stop. It. I had a dream. I'm living because I had a dream. And no matter what the situation is, I will do all I can to succeed my dream. I will fight the fight to matter my dream. I will fight the battle to matter my dream. I will fight the struggle to matter my dream. I will not die in the struggle, but I will die in the manifestation of my dream. Can I make a pronouncement? You will not die in the wilderness. You will die at the promised land. You say amen. You enter your promised land. Take me in my promised land. Take me in my promised land. <laughs> Hallelujah. Evil hands. Ladies and gentlemen, if you fall in evil hands, you finish. Evil hands. Evil hands. If you read the Bible in Genesis 37, in verse 15, the Bible says, The brethren you are going to look for. Are people like that? You are yo. Thank God for my family. <laughs> Thank God for my brothers. I'm so, so proud of them. If you have such a family, God bless you. But if you are not in that temp, you finish. I just grateful to God for everything. Oh. 
They are the one helping me to push the dream. They are not the one helping me to bring the dream down. They are helping me. They understand that if they dream, I think it's everybody's dream. If you come to reality, I come to reality. If you come to truth, I come to truth. But if it is not unveiled, we are not unveiled. The Joseph family was a very stupid family. And later on, can I tell you something? The God begin great, and through his greatness, every one of them begin great. You understand? You must know something in life. Ladies and gentlemen, in every family there is a Devi. Watch up. In every family there is a Joseph. God might raise up one person to raise up the other people. God will not give everybody a blessing. But God will give one person a blessing. When God wants to visit a family, he pick one man. When God wants to change a whole family, he pick one man. Ladies and gentlemen, if the family can understand, less a one of this man, the lefty is our lefty. But there are many envious family today. They are going against themselves. They are fighting against one another. You are against your own sister Welly. You are against your own Brother Welly, you are the one betraying yourself, your sister children. You are the one want to see your sister children down. You are the one want to see your brother children down. You are taking your sister children photo to an evil man to destroy their life. You don't want your sister children to progress or your brother children to progress. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are four in that family, today anyone that touch you or touches your photo or touches anything belongs to you. Anywhere they take it, let them. What I notice here, the Bible says, Come, let us sell him. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, if you notice, the first one I saw here that today, because of your dream, there are people who. <laughs> Whatever in the world, I can tell you for free. Trust one person. God. Believe one person. God. Love one person. God. All other you will do, that will be favor. For me to love you, I am doing favor for you. It's not false. Only one obligation you have in life is to God. One submission is to God. You know what Jesus said? No man should take the glory. Don't share my glory with no man. Anybody you do anything for, you are favoring them. Amen? Amen? Why I say so? I will tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in the world today where the person you see smart today can frown at you tomorrow. <laughs> no human being can justify their behavior. To me, I don't know about you. No human being can justify their self. Or their character. If you have a friend like that, all of you told you you are a fool. But you see me, I'm not playing talking, you. you're already talking. Other people, you already as anything you say, you see, I let too many people, I let too many talking, I let people myself, it's a lie. You are picking words for gossip. Me, you see me so anything you don't like, you won't talk. It will show your action. Don't let nobody justify their who they are to you by words. Because people that talk today, they can change tomorrow. I hear you. The way mistake you are not making is to understand that people changes at any time. Any time. I preached many years ago, or months ago, and I said, never ever did your life come to a place and surprise be an overflow of you. I'm surprised at you. I'm surprised at you. I'm so if you know life, you won't surprise anybody. Because you will understand in life, just as God is using men. It seems as the devil is using men that are men today. 
If you veganize yourself, the devil can use you. Other people can start good in the end bar. People changes. People changes in behavior, in attitude, suddenly. You will see a loving auntie who raised up a child and don't want to have the child, even your parent to hold the child. They say, we want to eat the child now or suck the child blood. I'm not talking to somebody here. We dance! You have a destiny, the first people after you, evil hands. They want to strangle you. They want to make sure they choke you to the place where you die. Or you get stranded. And you get streamed. And you get small. And your dream don't come to manifestation. Ladies and gentlemen, what I notice here in the Bible. The Bible said the second thing about them. He said nothing saying get dream. Let's sell him. That a family that have evil market. Evil market. Demonic market. That a family will evil market. They sell people there. They sell people career, people destiny, people star. They go check behind you. When they know you're going to be great tomorrow, they take your star and sell it. There are exchange. Can you remember Jacob in, 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 in Isaac family? Jacob and his brother Esau and the mother Rebecca. A woman that was so prophetic but somehow demonic because she went and did a balancing, an imbalancing between the two children. She saw the future of Esau as a firstborn biologically. But then she went and got involved and so Esau future to Jacob. She diverted what belongs to Esau to Jacob. Now the boy was blaming his brother. But now knew the bring behind was the mother. The two brothers were fighting among themselves. Who was the cause? If you are from an evil family, evil, you finish. Many of you here today, you are shouting, you are bouncing. You, you are giving God the glory. But I want you to say to you here, you need more prayer time. You need more praying time. Never the prayer time because you know why? I can tell you from the 80s down, there was no God in Liberia. From the 80s down, there was no God here. 84, 85, 90, there was no God here. Maybe probably around the 90s, and so on, Jimmy struggled to give the Liberia. For your could say, what about? There was no God here. Our parents, our ancestors, our four parents, what they knew was native title. Many of you sit here, you have been checked behind from two years old. Many of you sit here, your future have been tempered with ever since. They have directly have sold you. And once you have been sold, you are a slave. How do you know you are a slave? A slave is bound one place. So if you are living a life, no progression, no movement, you can't experience anything, nothing coming from all of you, you do anything, nothing, you are a slave. What the devil will be in prison? People! And you will not find them to ask them today. But many of them, many of us get today, when in the days, when we are sick, they go to Baba. When I walk to threatening, they go to Baba. Many of you here will be checked behind. And we're being checked behind. In our future, there are evil family want to do demonic business. They sell people there. They say, let's sell him. Let's sell him. Let's sell him. Mama own family will sell me. Ask Judah Ascara and Jesus, a nephew to Jesus. He was a nephew. In fact, he was not just an honorary disciple, he was the treasure. He's the one that had all the money. But he knew the destiny of Jesus was greater than his own. I thank God for my family my brothers and my men that are around me I'm grateful because in our family we are not envious men we in our family we are not jealous men in our family we go for one another progression we are interested in one another career one another destiny we intercede for one another we talk to one another we prioritize one another we pray for one another we talk to one another it is not in our family where you see a lorry that our family has today for years Two says, stop them talking. Yes. For your five years, a brother can talk to your own brother. Almost ten years now they're going, no talk between them. Evil family. They sell people there. They look at you and when they know that you have a great destiny. What do they do? They sell your potential. There are many of you here today. You lost your leg. 
your legs piece of destiny. They don't want you enter destiny when you lost your leg, you can't walk. It means you will not do nothing for yourself. Number two, you lost your eyes. Your eyes piece of your vision. Your vision. They know that when you can see, you can see far beyond what they cannot see. When you are progressive, when you lost your vision, it means you're not going anywhere. So there are many young people getting blind. I wonder why. There are many young men today in our generation. The enemy see your future, know where you're going. But now when they blind your eyes, will not do anything. They sold your eyes. They sold everything about you. You are just a common empty vessel walking on the earth. That's why rejection has become the major spirit behind you. Anywhere you go, you are rejected. family they don't let progress once it's not them anyone make a turn they will kill you yeah. amen yeah. amen yeah. start killing him ladies and gentlemen they say let's sell this dog to sell is to get something in exchange for another thing now listen let's sell him me you're not worth it. You don't matter to us. So let's see the what matter the money. So when we sell you, we can use the money is more preferable than you. The money is more better than you do. So what I no matter what. There are many witches today. If you ask them, they will, they will tell you, I gave my man stomach. I gave my man ah, I gave my man tooth, I gave my man leg. That, that, that is business. That is transaction. For what? You say because they will make me queen. Someone say they won't make me king. But what do you what, what can you give? We're promoting the dark world. Stupid promotion. But what can you give? So I gave my brother. What can you give? I gave my own son. If your amen is loud, anybody give you. You not gonna and, and I let that your amen. I say anybody give you. Hey! If they attempt to give you fire will come on your head. Hey! Hallelujah! I will give you. Some of you are sitting here. You have some witchcraft parents. Every year they go to meeting. They post susu. Last year they pull your star. This year they want to pull your face. You come in face, we are rejection now. You come when they pull your face, you are rejected. Anywhere you go, nobody will see you. Every year they give a part of you. Have you been in the demonic war? The demonic war in some movies. This is 100 percent real. You see, like you are here or your living body, and they are suddenly representing you in the dark war. When they juke their thing here, they juke your eyes. When they juke, they want to juke your stomach. It's okay now. This year, let's give a womb. Oh yeah, you are not married, you're a single person around bony like a duffer. They took your womb. But since you got married now and the house money chat, they collect it. If they're crying, they do it so they can put you in pain. They want you to weep. They want you to cry. That are young men, hey, that are young men today, you get married, you have a wife. Why are you expecting a baby now to celebrate? After you get all the bastards for outside. To get a real child, no way. It gets spam, but the spam don't get power. But the power go nobody know. What hey, you injured? Apostle. Many man. Only the oh, we got the doctor. We saw doctor. Different results. No result. It's a demonic thing. No results. Big conflict. That's some parents today. They will jump into their children's womb. Jump into it. Get deeply involved. You chasing a child from baby, a man a real man, you stay behind him. He has given a straight woman, you stay behind her. And forget to know. Why? Because way down the line, many of you don't know there are things you ought not to do. <laughs> I know what I'm talking. They know. There are people today, they follow. But how do you know now? They, they are mothers, they are fathers. So they follow you four to four. You bet one one way, I'm going to give to them to stay there. I said, no, my son, I can't spend time with you. Yeah. Say, no room here, oh. I saw a relationship. 
a relationship like three years ago. I met a lady. What the father of the woman? I mean, uh, uh, the mother of the woman will come. And then she wants to lay down between the man and his wife. <laughs> uh, you see, in Momo, like Judah Ascara. But watch up. I'm telling you true. Let me story. He said, man of God, my mother-in-law, sleep with you and my wife. I asked her why, mama, in the morning. She said, it's tradition. And he said, as soon as she leaves, she go back. I said, we are lying. He said, man of God, would you be there? She said, I shouldn't move. She wants to bless the marriage. She wants the marriage to be fruitful. I thought you were open your mouth, your ugly mouth to bless the marriage. But you're not laying between the people. I said, you are a blessed son in law. The God will kick you. I, I, in my mind, I said, I said, hey, you. And the next few I give it in front of me. So what do I do? So you know, but you know, my mom says it's a custom. And the man bullet to her, she want to tell the man. The man said, if you don't do it, you will die. She refused to tell the husband. Say, I have to come and do the thing every six months. Every six months. They were there, no baby. They were they made just declining. That lady made a successful man. The major going down in a very huge business. The man kept going down. As I'm talking, that man still going down. I know what I now reach there. I know, but he's still going. He's still going. He's still going. You go here, that doesn't spam there. No power there. You go here, that doesn't back. He said, no, not back. You go here, he 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 left throwing all the round. But if forget, the mother will come and lay down in the middle of them. People marry, you can't leave them. They have become a man for their own. Instead, chasing them. Chasing them. Why? There are many of them that things we can't do. I'm telling you true. There are things you can't do. You don't know. You don't know. Can I tell you something here? Yeah? If you read the Bible very carefully about Mary and Jesus, Mary knew that Jesus was given the prophecy by the angel. So Mary knew all about Jesus. Let consider of God there in the passage of the scriptures, let God's. The God has spoken about Jesus, his future, and his destiny. So Mary knew. Can I tell you? Mary followed Jesus from birth to death. Read your Bible from on the, on the cross. The boss said, Hey, Mama, you can go now. On the cross, you are there. She was the one telling people, say anything. Face to face, four to four, anywhere you go, she was following. Because she had a war. Rebecca said to Jacob, say, Go to your father, Lebanon. Be there. Rebecca protected Jacob strongly. Why? There are some protect. You see, in the family, the parents will divide the children. They protect him one so strongly. They get a reason. They have their reason. You will see big brother next to big brother. Then you will see junior brother become a big brother. And they are not crying, he put in the seat. And they allow him to cause or insult his orders. And they don't want to know. And they, are, they get all protection for him. Something has gone wrong. Amen. I'm not talking about Amen. Let's sell him. Let's sell him. Freedom for evil hands. If we sell him, his dream will not come to pass. Let's sell him. They sold him in the hands of the image. And when the image collected him, they sold him to Potiphar. And when Potiphar saw him, saw him, saw out of him, he started consuming blessing. Potiphar came from work. He was given an allegation that you are innocent. Or Potiphar collected him. No nonsense. Throw him in prison. Ladies and gentlemen, another word for prison is donja. The donja speaks of the deepest part of the prison. Ladies and gentlemen, when you are in prison, you are restricted. What I started about prison, prison speaks of restriction. Nobody can be in prison and expound. So many of all have never expanded. Experience expansion. Anything you're trying to do, it cannot expand when you are in prison. Because 
your prisoners are bound. When you are bound, you can't do nothing. You can't prosper in everything. Whenever the enemy puts you in prison, is to restrict your movement. There are many of us here in spiritual prison. Our body is moving, but our life is spiritually held down. We have been in prison for years. There are nothing we can do on our own that shows success. Nothing we can do that progress. Why? Because we are in family prisons. All our children are in prisons. We can do nothing for ourselves. We try years upon years. We can show nothing because the enemy have imprisoned you. Why did they imprison Joseph? They said so that his dream will not come to pass. What do they want to put you in prison? Is to is to imprison your time and to stop your dream. Ladies and gentlemen, what prison does to a man? Prison eats your time. The Bible says in 41, in 41 chapter, the last verse down. The Bible said, and Joseph was not remembered in the prison. When you are in prison, you are not remembered. Why people make promises to you, they don't remember you. People talk things to you, they don't do what they say. People will promise you, you have to discuss well. There are people who will start doing things for you on the good platform. All of a sudden, they get weak. They just give up on you. Why? Because you are in prison. Once you are in prison, what happened to a man? You are bound. Everything about you is bound. Your job is bound. Your career is bound. You cannot expound in prison until you come from out of prison. There are men of us cannot see our way out. We cannot see our way in. Why? Because we are in prison. Some of us, we are 40 years now in prison. The place is there when you were 2 years old. Some of us now, the place out there was 44 years old. We are 55 years now in prison. So you get to know yourself. Everything about you was slavery. You have never enjoyed life. All you saw in your life were pain and bitterness. No movement. Your life is stagnated. You're not understanding anything. You are a young man with a career. But there is no way to manifest yourself. No platform to display. You are a young man with a great future. But nobody believe in you. And believe in your destiny. Nobody want to accept your career. Your career. Nobody want to accept all that you are. You are a great dream. But nobody believe in your dream. Why? Because you are in prison. They said I put it in prison to stop his dream. There are many of you yet this afternoon. I've come to tell you. Sit down, sit down. I've come to tell you. By the power of God, the enemy may have placed you in prison because they don't want you to do anything. Once you are in prison, you can do nothing for yourself. There are many of you here. You have come to a point in your life. You feel so embarrassed. Embarrassed in the eyes of your friends. That you started school together. They are all gone ahead of you. They have done better than you. But here you are. You have not done anything. You stay at the same spot. People you knew better than. People you graduated. You score more than. They are all ahead of you. People you can do more than they are doing. They are all gone ahead of you. You can talk more than what they talk. They are all gone ahead hell of you. You would have owned a palace. You would have owned a supermarket. You would have owned something big at this time. For your S level. But you get nothing to show. Because you are in prison. I've come not to preach to everyone. But on this day. It's the day that the Lord has made. That you and I will rejoice. And be glad in it. Once you are in prison. You can get a partner. In prison you are covered. You are covered with a dark Claude. Once you are in prison, nobody can see you. In prison, people forget you. The Bible said the ring bearer forgot Joseph. And the time you are experiencing forgetfulness, it means that you are in prison. All those that are supposed to help you, they all forgot about you. They all turn their back on you. That tells you you are in prison. All those that used to talk to you, they are not calling you again. That tells you you are in prison. But that is not the reason why you should give up and you should look down at yourself. You might be in prison today, but I can say this to you, by the grace of God, uh, in the physical mind, Deepa Mandela found himself in prison. He had a future and a destiny that the white man would not suppress the black man. He had the future of his people that the matter of the oppression of the white man one day so Africa will be free. They put him in prison to stop him from his dream. They beat him every morning. He went through 
pains and trauma. It was that thing about his dream. All he went through, it was because of his dream. 25 years, 6 months. One cool evening, the jailer went to the jail and he said, is there any Mandela? And the brown Mandela outside, it doesn't matter the limb of time that the enemy have taken from you. The limb of death they have taken from you. If you mean it, you can still make it. You may have fall, but you can rise if you believe it. I don't care what they are blessing you. If you stay trusting, you can die in that prison. Today is the day that God has set aside that all the young men and women here who had a dream that you saw yourself with a company, you saw yourself on a project, you saw yourself having a house, you saw yourself having a business, you saw yourself going higher, you saw yourself out of Liberia, but after 10 years, you are still at the same spot. I'm here to tell you, I have an anointing on my head that I came with this Sunday to remove men and women. I'm here to make a pronouncement that enough is enough. No matter how long they are kept in the prison, enough is enough. All the great young men and women, God says, I should come and tell you, your family prison, community prison, the prison and the place you in, that cause your life not to manifest. Yes, what I saw this morning, in my praying time, you were coming out of that prison. God said to them, go and tell them, freedom from evil prison, everywhere, everywhere you are, whether you are in regular, you are giving my first line, no matter what the place you are, what I saw in the spirit, you are coming out of that prison, wherever they ban you, I pray for you, I prophesy the chin they put on your leg, is breaking us and watching, but the power of the Holy Ghost, was slowing down your movement, what makes you your life not to progress, the chin is breaking, the chin is breaking, the chin is breaking. The chin is breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. I'm not talking to all, but I'm talking to those that are ready. I'm yet to free men from prison. Today is the day that God has set aside. Increase this microphone. I'm not hearing myself. But the power of God, whatever God has said, who can stop it? Whoever that has spoken, they are not God. Where they place you. The Spirit of God is going there today. What are in your whole time, in your village, you are coming out of prison. You must do something for yourself this year. Where they tired you? Who tired you? I like what Jesus said. He said to the disciples, go into that village. You will see a quarter. He said, lose it and bring it to me. If any man ask you, say the master is in need of that call. And when the disciple went there and they lose the call, and the man step out and begin to ask, who's time to lose that call? You are lose from today. Uh-huh. And the men are ask question. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. Understand, understand the very atmosphere. Don't don't sit down. Lift your hands up. You gotta come out of that prison. I said you want to be there. I don't want you there. They put Joseph in the prison. But guess what? This is my point. When Joseph was in the prison, ladies and gentlemen, put the fat prison in prison. But Pharaoh came to bring you out of prison. I come with the anointing of the angel of the spirit of God. I don't know what the place is. I don't know where your families are. I don't know where they can put great people in your family. Maybe they can put you in the dungeon. Maybe they can burn you on the tree. Maybe they can tie you in the village. Wherever your village is located, today you are coming from other evil person. You are coming from other evil prison. You say amen, you are coming on. You say amen, you are coming out. My God, my God. 
the next three minutes today under the sound of my voice I speak to the next ten person that is hearing me live you are not just come to church but God says I should tell you today is your day that evil dream you've been having you shall not have that dream anymore after the service today somebody will get a news yes, that your family is free yes, your son is free yes, your children is free yes, your destiny is free yes, after the prophetic service the son that I brought of a dream I take the anointing of my head the pressing door that I kept to I put the key in the door all those that are in prison here I shout to your knees come outside the prison is open come outside it's open now In the mother police, in the father police, you are coming out, 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 it's broke on, 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 you are coming out, you are coming out, you are coming out. Who has come now? Come on now! Come on now! Come on now! Everybody tell you who has come now? In your father's village, who has come now? In your mother's village, who has come now? Who has come now? Who has come now? It's broken. That team on your left is broken. That team on your head is broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. Somebody shout in fire. You are coming out. You are coming out. 